to the first episode in a series of 12 episodes that are going to be focused on the August 2023 Mathematics Paper 2. So if you haven't seen the 19 episodes that focus on Paper 1, please check out on our YouTube channel. So let us move straight to question 1. So now you will notice that I may take a bit longer but the idea is I want you to understand the concepts not memorize. If you can understand the concept, mathematics is the easiest subject. So question 1a, simplify 13 multiplied by 8 to the power 3 over 28 multiplied by a to the power 2 multiplied by b to the power 2 divide by 65 multiplied by a to the power 4 multiplied by b over 56 multiplied by a to the power 2 multiplied by b to the power 4. So let us start with a and this is 2 max. So let us just move over the space. So when the question says simplify it's simply saying evaluate. So this is the same word complete. They mean the same thing. Then express in the simplest term. So all those they mean the same. Now what is key here is we have the divide divine. So to answer this question without any doubt we use this principle a over b divide divine c over d is the same as a over b then we introduce multiplication then we swap c and d d so we have d on top now over c that's the principle that we are going to use to solve this question easily and this question always comes there is always a question that was to simplify or complete it can either question be question one or it can be to section b but always this question comes so once you understand this principle you are sure of answering this question so let us proceed 13 a to the power 3 over 28 to the power a to the power 2 then b to the power 2 then here we are saying multiplication then this comes down this one goes up so we have 56 a to the power 2 then b to the power 4 then over 65 a to the power 4 then b at this point everything becomes now easier so just now to look for what is common so 13 into 13 is a 1 13 into 65 is a 5 then I know 28 into 28 is a 1, 28 into 56 is a 2. So we are done with numbers. If I say a, a to the power 2 into a to the power 2 is a 1, a to the power 2 into a to the power 3 is just a. Because we are using this principle, so it will be a to the power 3 divided by a to the power 2, which is the same as a to the power 2 minus 2, which is just a to the power 1. That's the principle that we are going to use everywhere. Okay. Then we go to this side. So I have a to the power 2 into a to the power 2 is a 1. a to the power 2 into a to the power 4 is a to the power 2. Then this one, 1. Then this one is a. Then we are done with a. We go to b. So b into b is a 1. b into b to the power 4 is b to the power 3. Then b square into itself is 1. b square into b to the power 3 is b. Then we just simplify, multiply now. So here is just the 1s. Then we have a 2 multiplied by b. So we are going to have 2b. Then over, we have 1, 1 here. Everything here is 1. Then 5 times a is 5a. So we remain with 5a. So this is the answer. We move to question B. Learners in a grade 10 class were asked the types of drinks they liked. The Venn diagram shows their responses. So we have Fanta, Coke, Sprite. And we have seven who didn't like any of these three. Given that 40 learners liked Fanta, find the value of X. So the question is, if everyone in this set were 40 so 40 liked Fanta find the value of X so what it means is we have 17 
plus x plus c2 this one then plus x plus x so x plus x this must equal to 40 because that's what is in the said phantom then we, we add the like terms so we're going to have 17 plus c2 we are going to have 19 then plus x plus x is 2x plus x 3x so we have 3x is equal to 40 then at this point now 3x is equal to 19 crosses the equal sign becomes a negative so it will be 40 minus 19 so 3x is equal to 21 then we solve 4x by dividing by 3 both sides so we mean if x is equal to 7 so x is equal to 7 is the answer then we get these two marks lemma number two find the total number of learners in the class so we're looking for the total number of learners in the class so now we find the value of x so now to find the total number of learners what i'm going to do is i know here this is 40 then I know this side because x is 7 to be 7 minus 2 this will be 5 so to answer this question it becomes easier let me use this space remember your strategy is better than your strength so we are told what is in front is 40 so it's 40 plus this one is 5 so plus 5 then plus here which is 5 7 minus 2 5 then plus c3 then plus c7 d7 then we've added everything so we have a 40 plus 10 plus 10 which is equal to 60. so here loma numero 2 the answer is 60. this is loma numero 1. once you do that you get this one mark that's how simple it is then our man which is Roman numero three our man learners did not like Fanta so our man did not like Fanta so if we know that the total are 60 then those who liked Fanta they were 40 how can we find our man did not like Fanta so Loma numero 3 a so it will be total number minus those who liked Fanta so the total are what they are 16 how many liked Fanta you see the 40 because I told 40 learners liked Fanta so to be now 40 from 60 so we have 20 so 20 did not like Fanta because they took anything else what you can do is you can add this 5 plus this 5 plus this one plus that one you end up with a 20 so here this is 20 liked two types of drinks only so two types of drinks only so let me just clear a bit so that you're able to see clearly so we are looking for two types of drinks only those so we need to look for these parts so remember we know the value of x so is this part these liked fanta and cocoa only this part liked fanta and this sprite only then this part liked cork and the sprite so since x is in 7 so it will be 7 plus 2 so this becomes 9 in this set then here it will be 7 minus 2 which is 5 then here this is 7 because x is 7 so this one now becomes 9 plus 5 plus 7 
which is equal to 7 plus 7 plus 5 is 12 plus 9 is equal to 21 so 21 like two types of drinks only so the key is only so what is in the middle here liked the th all the three drinks but here is the liked two types of drinks so this is how you answer this question to get these good marks so thank you for joining me in this episode please don't forget to join me in the second episode as i will look at question two